Sporting team here have been working on a project the last few months of actually bought me a new rifle. I took a T3 light and caliber of 308. So I've been slowly putting that together and I'm at the stage where I've done some low developments and I'm going to go to the range and do some testing today. I thought I'd do some recording and talk you through it step by step and um, if you're keen, take along for the journey. I've chosen a Ticker T3 light for this uh, caliber. It's got a nice fluted barrel. I've trimmed the barrel to 16 inches. I've chosen the Schultz and Larson suppressor to put on it. I picked up a carbon fibre stock from the Sicker Show this year from uh, New Zealand Composites. And I've put a loophole VX5 scope on it. What else have I done? I've lightened the trigger to one and a half pounds and put a half cock safety in it. So that's the rifle put together. Now it's going to work on the load development. So that's the projectile I'm going to be working on. It's a 155 grain and ELD match. Uh, I was talking to Roger and he's kindly given up his leaven, herbs and spices recipe for his 308. So that's that powder there. So I'll put a couple of loads up of uh, his recipe. And when I bought my reloading gear from Outdoor Supplies in Carterton, the guy over there was talking up this powder here. So I'll do some recipes up for this one. And I'll test the two and see which one my rifle prefers. And then I'll go from there. Cool, we'll see you at the range. These are my uh, three loads I'm going to be trying today. I've got um, Rogers one right there, and then uh, the other powder I'm trying those two mixes. 46 the maximum load, and I've got one over, so I'll obviously try that one first, and then check the check the casing, make sure we're all good. So that's the group test done. Um, three different loads. Actually, quite surprised by the results. These uh, Rogers mixed there, quite spread out. Just goes to show that every rifle shoots differently. Um, this one's here it was with the new powder, uh, recommended load 46, that's the maximum. Yeah, not too bad, it could have been just a little bit of a fly. And this one here is with 47 grain, so one over the maximum load. That shot there could be the barrel heating up or just me. Um, those first two shots were on touching, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to stick with that one there. So now that I've done my grouping, I'm just going to test the speeds. And then get out here. I was supposed to be at the kids' athletics, so it's a little bit of a rush. I'll set up the crony, test the speeds, and then boom, we're out here. Cool, so that's my recipe. I'm just going to do some loads up now. Um, I might go to the range one more time just to confirm. Do up a drop chart and then go do some gong shooting just to validate my drop chart. I've right, got my zeroing weather, um, bull zero, I've got my speeds, I'm just going to average the speeds and then input into my um, app, which is Sherlock Pro, and we'll see what it comes out with. Team here on a mission this morning, a uh, bit of a gentleman's hunt actually. Just going down the road, I'm going to go for a walk around a private block. There's a few fellow running around, so hopefully, pick one or two up. Bit of a crack in the morning, there's no wind, clear skies, just a little bit of cloud over the ranges. Bit of luck, I'm going to go for a walk up the ranges later on. But we'll see how the morning goes. Cool, see you then. See me just arrived at the edge of the block. I'm just going to park up here and load up my gear and go for a walk. Hopefully, we'll bump into something, and then uh, not too long, we'll have something down. Well, they happened pretty quick. Come over the knob and I seen one on the far hill. Um, kept on walking and I bumped into two, a spiker and a hind. Um, they're walking around quite a bit, so I popped the spiker. Then the hind was circling around. Didn't have no fawns, she's barren, so decided to pop her too. So two deer down. The only problem is I've got to carry them out. No bike. Bugger. Well, it's going to be a good pain and it's not too far away, so cool. 
Let's go check it out, eh? This the hind. Popped right in their shoulder. Didn't drop her on the spot. She ran around for a little bit, but um, she wasn't going far. Let's go with the spiker. And this is the spiker, good size. Right on the money. He was going nowhere too. Oh, we've got to cut him out. Chuck him on my back and carry him out of here, I suppose. Early start, early finish. Cool. I was going to try and carry them both out in uh, one trip, but I think I'm going to do it in two trips, actually. It's not quite going to work. When I, um, when I hunt on private blocks, I like to carry the animals at whole to see out of respect for the landowner and not wasting any sort of the meat. If it was a uh, public land, it'd be a different story. I'd be boning it out. But um, yeah, so it's going to be two trips, I think. It's a little bit too far for uh, one big carry. Oh, that's round one. One down, one to go. Got back to the truck, and then I've got to walk back up the hill and grab the hind for the smaller one, and then come back down again. Deja vu. Uh, all the things we do for a bit of meat, eh? Oh, it's the second one all packed up, ready to go. I bought my um, bum plug. It's actually an old t-shirt I jam in the cavity and put it down towards the ass. Don't mind a bit of blood on the back, but I uh, don't like blood dripping down my ass. So that's what that stops. I'll pack her up and I'll get out of here. Feeling pretty buggered now. It's not long I'll be at the truck, so get out of these clothes. Put jandals on, cruise on home. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bit of a build up really with the new rifle, projectile, and the old fellow there. Pretty amped up actually, might go for a red shoot this afternoon. I'll see how I feel when I get home. There's three things you should never forget in hunting. One is your bolt, two is water, and three is toilet paper. I've got the first one, but not the other two. So I'm gonna to have to improvise, I'll show you a trick. This stuff here is like gold. Give it a bit of a crinkle up. Bang. Soft as. <laughs> 